What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dev. It's your boy Man. You now tune into Vibes with Dev and Nam. Yes, sir. So today we about to. Um, matter of fact, before we get into Tia's reaction, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that bell icon for post notifications so you can be the first to know when we drop. Right. Uh, so today we about to react to Chris Stapleton Cold. Uh, if you haven't seen any of our Chris Stapleton reactions already, the whole playlist. The whole playlist. Go check that out. He makes fantastic you know what I'm saying? music. So, you know, before we made that comment, like, hey, react to this, we might have reacted to it already. Mm -hmm. So, go check, check out the playlist for real. For real. Mm -hmm. um, today, we're about to react to Chris Stapleton Cold CMA Awards. Live. What is that? Oh, the Country Music Awards. I haven't watched that since, like, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, bro. Are we Kelly Clarkson? Like, remember her? I think she got home on talk show. And it was like a Daughtry dude that was on American Idol. He won Saint Chris Daughtry, I think. Well, you probably don't. I think yeah, I stopped bro. at the uh, Fantasia. <laughs> yeah, I stopped watching that. That's like season three. Yeah, bro. I was, I was, I was a kid too, so it was one and done. I wasn't really watching because my mom, and then like yeah, after Fantasia, was like, all right. No, I was at Kelly Clarkson. Looked at it a bit when Jordan Sparks popped yeah, up. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's really about it. Yeah, it was like the first four seasons. If you ain't watching in the first four seasons, then that's yeah, a fact. That was really the best time of American Idol, first five, whatever that shit was. Facts. It was heat back then. That's that was a show to watch. Mm -hmm. America was really watching, watching that man. shit for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I'll go there. Uh, so yeah, let's get into his reaction. No disrespect to the scene, man. It might seem like I didn't know it was, but. Shout out to y'all, country music. Simp. That's so why I can't fact. be simping sometimes, man. Can't get it. Look, he's like, I built my whole world around you. Women, and just people in general. Yeah, make it hard just, for you to just give yourself. It's yeah. so hard to give yourself to somebody you can't, nowadays. You can't give 100% right can't off give the gate. You got it, because they can just. Let me say, I built my life around you. Mm -hmm. And you just. And you just did, man. That's crazy. 
you just dead, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think this is the one. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, oh my God, like, she's everything I wanted and all mm-hmm. that. She's just like, see ya. Yeah. Great character development. <laughs> Birdie builds character. It builds character, man. Heartbreak <laughs> builds character. I love it. That's some good pain. Yeah, but he makes great, like, heartbreaking music. Mm-hmm. Great and it sounds authentic. It sounds real. You can hear the rawness mm-hmm. and the energy in his voice. And this is live. And he's he live, is, bro. Ian is live. Shout out to the artist because it sounds great mm-hmm. live. He sounds fantastic. Mm-hmm. I fuck with this. Why are you so cold? Sounds like squad to the back. some type of heartbreaking message and you're gonna feel it bro between this and the song i think he did with his wife this might be my favorite song oh yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like he yeah. he he really i like, you can feel it mm-hmm. bro who hurt you chris we're gonna hop up for you don't worry and he makes it so relatable bro like mm-hmm. you can really feel this no matter like yeah. even if you're into country music into chris mm-hmm. davidson yeah. this is a song you could just honestly be like nah, i can relate to that bro. exactly like, everybody everybody relate to heartbreak, heartbreak. Yeah. that's a fact and if you haven't related to heartbreak, then kudos to you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know how old you are, you might want to get that out your way. Man, you want to get you want to get heartbroken early and go. All right, you don't want to get wanna heartbroken. Wait too long and imagine that. getting heartbroken like thirty-five. Yes. You don't want that. You just want to get that out of the way. Yeah, man. Some people do have the miracle stories where yeah, they met in middle school, high school, and that was been it. together ever since. But hey, man, the stuff probably has happened yeah, when they got their heart broken in that relationship, but they worked it out. Yeah, but so like, you know, y'all stronger. Yeah, okay, we're going through like our fifth, sixth heartbreak, bro. Yeah, we but, just going through it. <laughs> it's like, isn't that right? Number nine, you know. <laughs> Just hurt after hurt after. <laughs> it's like, all right, that, that, if you keep getting heartbroken, it might be you. You're yeah, just like, not learning nothing. Yeah. You gotta learn from these heartbreaks, huh? Thanks, bro. <laughs> but, uh, that's the video we got for you today. It's your boy Dev. It's your boy Nine. We out. Peace.